Hi, welcome to video number five on Make It Happen. So we've talked already about, it's the, the word clarity has been spelled out in the seven steps. And these are certain things that you can pay attention to and start to concentrate on in order to help you get more clarity of what it is that you want to do more of and, and how to manage the critic that may be stopping you from taking action. So we've done C, L and today we're talking about A for attention. So when you're listening to language, both in your own dialogue in your own thoughts and in the language of other people I want you to be curious are you drawn to want to know more about the problem or the solution are you thinking about weaknesses and things that frustrate you about yourself and other people or are you talking about strengths so I want you to really start to notice in your everyday thinking are you aware of what makes you different are you aware of what makes you stand out and do you know your patterns of what you're really good at and what works for you? Do you know how you need to be to work at your best? Do you know how you need to be to learn at your best? And are you living at your very best? Starting to pay attention to what is happening when it works and almost tracking beforehand what happened to make that happen can help you to become more resourced and more grounded because you know, like and trust yourself better. So attention is all about you training your attention to be more solution, put my teeth in, solution and strength focused. So if you are making statements about what you, you want less of or you don't want to have happen, remember the question from video two, put when I don't have that, then what happens? If you ask yourself the question, what would I like to have happen? Again, for some of you, you might need to write about the problem for a little while. You might need to tell the story or even give an explanation. But keep doing that until you get a nice, clear outcome that's stating what you want. Once you've got that, it will help you to stay focused. But also when you're talking, just notice whether you're telling people what you want or what you don't want. And educate yourself and practice talking about what you want and what is working or what has worked. The brain is very much hardwired to look for problems. It's there to keep you safe. So it does that really easily and it does it really all right already on its own. So now it's about you building the other muscle up to put it back into balance. Um, so you are of value. You've got lots of strengths and every strength you have will show up as a weakness. So um, if people have told you that you talk too much, you ask too many questions, the fact that you talk and articulate how you feel or if the fact you ask questions to get more clarity, they will be strengths. But there will be times in your life when it becomes a challenge for you and maybe the people that you're working or living with. And it's not losing sight of the fact when it is a strength for you because we get so focused on when it didn't work that we forget that that's got a real strength in another situation. So I'm going to leave you with that thought then. Just pay attention over the next uh, 24 hours and over the next few weeks um, and listen to conversations on TV, radio. Are people talking about what they want? Or are they talking about what they don't want? And then practice the questions. What is working and what would you like to have happen to help direct your attention back to solutions and strengths? Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.